Welcome. I'm pleased to be joined by Dr. Benjamin Horn from the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute here in Salt Lake City. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. We're excited to talk about one of his studies that has been presented at the American Heart Association Scientific Session in Anaheim, California. And tell us a little bit about the study, what you were looking for. Well, we started from a place where we've done studies uh, on air pollution mm -hmm. and their effect on heart health previously. Mm -hmm. And we, we looked at a uh, similar question, adding in a little twist uh, of genetics, uh, where previously we and others have found that PM 2.5 or particulate matter air pollution is associated with a higher risk of heart attack and acute coronary syndromes mm -hmm. like unstable angina. So we wanted to see does the genetics influence uh, and interact with uh, air pollution for a, a stronger or lesser association. Interesting. How do we get from here, this is a picture of Los Angeles skyline, dirty air to a physiological approach? How does this impact our vessels, our arteries? Well, the air pollution has that association uh, with, with having the acute coronary syndrome events. Uh, we bring in the genetics where there's one gene, uh, just one, that's been validated in international genome-wide association studies as associated with acute coronary syndromes, and specifically with heart attack, and that's the ABO gene, or the, the gene that determines our blood type. And so it also has a very s similar association with the, the clotting and uh, obstruction of a coronary artery that leads to a heart attack that the air pollution uh, has, has a similar association. Okay. We wanted to see, do they add together? Is there a specific uh, blood type where someone has a much higher risk or a, a lower risk of, of acute coronary syndromes when the air pollution events, the short-term elevation in air pollution occurs? And let's look at some of your findings. Tell us, why, why is it important to distinguish these people who may be at, at higher risk for um, the effects of uh, poor air quality? Well, we looked at several mutations in the ABO gene. The primary one that's been associated with heart attack previously is a uh, determinant of O or non-O blood type. And we looked at a couple of others that are associated with A blood type and B, but it was the one with the O versus non-O where we found that there was a, in overall for all acute coronary syndromes events, there was about a 16% or an odds ratio of 1.16, 16% uh, higher risk of mm -hmm. acute coronary syndromes during a, a short-term elevation in air pollution. Um, that's 16% higher for every 10 micrograms per cubic meter. Okay. But when you have that non-O blood type, uh, or the A carrier here that it says, your, your risk is actually 25% instead of 16, and then if you have the O blood type, it's 10%. So there's elevated risk for everyone associated with air pollution. It's just more dramatic for those who have the non-O blood type. So Dr. Horn, what percentage of the population has is an A carrier? So the, the non-O blood type is about 60% of the population, almost two-thirds, and then O blood type is about 40, 35 to 40% of the population. Dr. Horn, thank you so much for your time today and congratulations on this exciting research. We invite you to learn more about this study along with our other studies presented at the American Heart Association Scientific Session in Anaheim at our website. Thank you so much and have a great day. Mm -hmm.